In ancient Roman religion and myth, Faunus was the horned god of the forest, plains and fields. When he made cattle fertile he was called Inus. He came to be equated in literature with the Greek god Pan. Faunus was one of the oldest Roman deities, known as the Diandagetes. According to the epic poet Virgil, he was a legendary king of the Latins who came with his people from Arcadia. His shade was consulted as a god of prophecy under the name of Fatuus, with oracles in the sacred grove of Tibur, around the well Albany, and on the Aventine Hill in ancient Rome itself. Marcus Terentius Varro asserted that the oracular responses were given in Saturnian verse. Faunas revealed the future in dreams and voices that were communicated to those who came to sleep in his precincts, lying on the fleeces of sacrificed lambs. W. Ward Fowler suggested that Faunus is identical with Favonius, one of the Roman wind gods. Etymology Faunus is the Latin outcome of a pi asterisk dano meaning the strangler and denotes the wolf. According to D. Raquel it is likely that the Lucerus, one of the three tribes of Rome, were Dornians from Ardia, as well as the characters of the Aeneas Mesentius, Mesippus and Metabues, who show a Dornian origin. A. Pasqualini agrees on the presence of a Dornian connection in the towns of Latium claiming a Diomedine descent. Moreover it would seem that there is a sizable presence of Dornians in Latium and Campania. Festus 106L records a King Lucerus who helped Romulus against Titus Tatius. Moreover Oscan epithet Lucius and Lucius should be interpreted as related to the Lucerus. He also lists the Lucaria mother of Romus, Jupiter Lucius, toponyms Lucasia, Lucaria 85, Dion, Hal, I-53, near Pistum, the ethnonym Lucani. Though Brickell is apparently unaware that the etymology of both Lucerus, Lucera, Lucaria, Lucani and Dorni is from a word meaning wolf and therefore different from that of Lucius, Lucius, i.e., from i.e. from asterisk Luke, not from asterisk Luke light. Compare also Herpini and Dorni. Dornos according to Walder Hoffman is from i.e. root asterisk da to strangle, meaning the strangler, epithet of the wolf. CFR, Greek Thornos, Therian Hes, Phrygian Daos, Lycos Hes, Latin Faunus. According to Alessio Latins and Umbrians both did not name the wolf because of a religious taboo, thence their use of loan words such as lupus in Latin and the Umbrians herpos originally male goat instead of expected asterisk lupos, whence also herpex for herpex tool in the shape wolf deeth. Consorts and family. In fable Faunus appears as an old king of Latium, grandson of Saturnus, son of Picus, and father of Latinus by the nymph Marica. After his death he is raised to the position of a tutelary deity of the land, for his many services to agriculture and cattle breeding. A goddess of like attributes, called Fauna and Fatue, was associated in his worship. She was regarded as his daughter, wife, or sister. The female deity Bona Dei was often equated with Fauna, as Pan was accompanied by the Paniscoi, or little Pans, so the existence of many Fauni was assumed besides the chief Faunus. Fauns are place spirits of untamed woodland. Educated, Hellenizing Romans connected their fauns with the Greek satyrs, who were wild and orgiastic drunken followers of Dionysus with a distinct origin, equivalence with Pan. With the increasing Hellenization of literate upper-class Roman culture in the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC, the Romans tried to equate their own deities with one of the Greeks, applying in reverse the Greeks' own interpretation Greeka. Faunus was naturally equated with the god Pan, who was a pastoral god of shepherds who was said to reside in Arcadia. Pan had always been depicted with horns and as such many depictions of Faunus also began to display this trait. However, the two deities were also considered separate by many, for instance, the epic poet Virgil, in his Aeneid, made mention of both Faunus and Pan independently. Festivals the Christian writer Justin Martyr identified him as Lupicus, the protector of cattle, following Livy. 
who named his aspect of Inus as the god who was originally worshipped at the Lupercalia, celebrated on the anniversary of the founding of his temple, February 15th, when his priests wore goat skins and hit onlookers with goat skin belts. Two festivals, called Fornalia, were celebrated in his honor, one on the 13th of February, in the temple of Faunus on the island in the Tiber, the other on the 5th of December, when the peasants brought him rustic offerings and amused themselves with dancing. A euhemeristic account made Faunus a Latin king, son of Picus and Canons. He was then revered as the god Fatuus after his death, worshipped in a sacred forest outside what is now Tivoli, but had been known since Etruscan times as Tibur, the seat of the Tiburtine Sibyl. His numinous presence was recognized by wolf skins with wreaths and goblets. In Nonno's Dionysiaca, Faunus, Faunus accompanied Dionysus when the god campaigned in India. Later worship, Faunus was worshipped across the Roman Empire for many centuries. An example of this was a set of 32 4th-century spoons found near Thetford in England in 1979. They had been engraved with the name of Faunus, and each also had a different epithet after the god's name. The spoons also bore Christian symbols, and it has been suggested that these were initially Christian but later taken and devoted to Faunus by pagans. The 4th century was a time of large-scale Christianization, and the discovery provides us with evidence that even during the decline of traditional Roman religion, the god Faunus was still worshipped. In Gaul, Faunus was identified with the Celtic Dusios, 